What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Toilet Studios. I'm your friendly neighborhood Starman. Welcome back to some more Elden Ring Let's Play. In our last episode, we finally began to demonstrate why exploring all these locations in Limgrave, all the conquering, conquering all these dungeons that we just encountered, and now facing Margit the Fell Omen. Was it was a sign that was a sign, you know, defeating we defeated Margit, and it goes to show that all of that experience exploring the map, the open world, has paid off. It paid off for me as well. And if and if you're following along with me, and I hope it paid off for you too. And uh <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. What I can't what I can't believe I forgot I had Margit Shackle. <laughs> and I forgot I had that and I could have used it too. But I was able to but we did have a pretty good advantage. My jellyfish kept po kept getting kept poisoning him and Margit was more focused on me. <laughs> this was funny. And I also and I also used a weapon called the Angel Wings. The Angel Wings Scythe. <clears throat> it really helped out too because while Margie was poisoned, I also caused blood loss too. So now now we begin a brand we start the climbing a brand new mountain. And it starts with Stormvale Castle. This is it. This is it, guys. It was a pretty good rest. Now I'm ready to conquer another mountain. Welcome to Stormvale Castle, everybody. So this is it. Now we're ready to go. And now the background music changes now that we enter this now that we enter this area. And here is our site of grace. Let's go ahead and get this ready. The bonfire. And I'm rocking the turtle shell. So let me go ahead and show you guys my stats. Currently level 52. Currently level 52. And ne the next then I'm gonna start putting points into mine so I can get some more attunement slot. Not attunement, FP. Because then it, it, it's gonna be start now we're gonna start playing with the big with the big guns and I definitely do want to get enough FP to summon Lutel Lutel the headless all right so this, as we go over here we, here's a corpse that we can remain here we get a fur calling finger remedy and just and there's a there's a little bit of a walkway down here we can just drop off heading down this way and over here we find another shiny. And some fire grease, two of them. Okay, and it takes you over to this way. All right, but basically we're at the point of no return. But that's okay. But that's okay. We can always, we can, we can. There is a way to back. There is a way back around. So let's go this way. Nothing over here. And it takes us back to the outside, and we can easily get back to where we were. Now that we're back to where we were, here we have these castle gates. However, they're closed. We cannot access that yet. And as we go in here, come over here, would you? Here we have an NPC, an aristocrat. We could talk to him. You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. So, we have two options. We could try to use the main gate, or we could take the, si the silent approach. Knowing stealth being my specialty, I'm taking the silent, appro the silent approach, and I recommend you would do that too. So, very well. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. I pray for your success. Alright. But we'll be coming back to this guy. And there's been there's been rumors from other from other people who experienced that whenever you die, he take he managed to take some of your runes that you've dropped. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I really don't even notice that. I really don't pay attention. I just go and get my runes back if I die. 
and and I can always make up the lost runes that's missing. And over here in this, here we have a shiny, and it's a golden rune tier one. And let's go ahead and activate this summoning pool. Wonderful. And now we just need to climb up the edge like this. And here we can pick up a, three ruin fragments. There's a shiny down there, but we can get to it. But we're just gonna have to find a way around. So it looks like we're gonna go out. We're gonna go in through the outside of Stormvale Castle. All right. Let's see. We can just drop down here. And look at that. There's an enemy up there. That is a Stormhawk. The Stormhawks can be past can be can be annoying like dragonflies. But they but they aren't can't but they can they quite they can quite deal some damage. Warrior ahead. All right. We can we can drop down there. We got a Stormhawk down there and another Stormhawk over there. Let's look over here to see if there's anything. Nope, not into not in particular. All right. Let's let's see. But over there we have a set of grace. We have a set of grace over here, and I think a storm hop's gonna go after us. Like that. Yep, I had a feeling. Bop. A stormhawk. You can it, it can drop it flight pinions and stormhawk feathers. And it can even it can even drop its talon weapon too. It's a it's basically like a short sword. These Stormhawks are armed with blades. They sure know how to fight. Let's activate this summoning pool here. <clears throat> All right. Next, next thing, next thing we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna take this drop down here, and we're gonna have to deal with the Stormhawk here. I have to get my shield out and use barricade shield. Damn it! That's not what I meant to do. And I got two of them to deal with. Oh shit. Fuck me. Luckily it was able to heal in time. Oh, whoa, careful. Oh, don't fall off, Sar. Damn it. Stormhawks. Give me a pain in the butt. That's one down. <clears throat> Alright. After taking care of the Stormhawks. We can go look over here, and there's that item that we saw from up there. And it's some, and it's ten bolts. All right, then we can take this pet. Then we can just just hop up here. All right, and and of course we have a stormhawk over there, and another stormhawk down there. So. And, I, you know, and of course, rejection will also work too, in order to ground them. So let's. But they tend. But they're. But they're tougher than the dragonflies. Oh, like this one I just alerted. Boom! I was able to ground this one. Take that. Get some flight pinion. Ooh, dingus. Ah, that was bad. That was a bad approach. Damn it. There is two of them. <clears throat> Cabron. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification to stay up to date on all my latest activities. You can also come over to my Twitch channel where I live stream three days a week. And come on out and hang out and get to know me. You can also follow me on Twitter at Starman715. I would definitely love to connect and, and I post updates as well. Now, back to your video. And remember people, Smile chat! Bitch. A Stormhawk Feather, but there is one more up there we need to deal with. And on this one we find a Smithing Stone Tier 3. Now I'm gonna now I need to start collecting these to upgrade my weapon. It'll get my weapon to plus 9. 
Up to plus nine. All right. That should be all the storm hawks. Ain't payback a bitch. Okay, and then we can just drop down here to get back to the side of grace. Bonfire. All right. Now this next part is going to be a little bit tricky, and that's when I need my rejection spell just in case. And I, and, it's, and I recommend you not lock on because there's nowhere for you to dodge, and you can end up falling off. Okay, wait for that guy to turn around because he can spot you from far away, and he'll definitely blow his horn to call his buddies. And over here we pick up a marred leather shield. Oh, he saw me, but he won't be able to blow his horn in time because I bopped him just now. But this guy, only this guy got alerted, which is good. Better than the entire cavalry. These are exiled soldiers. These are exiled warriors. You can, you can, and that's their weapon art, the storm, that's their Ash of War, the storm blade. You can farm for their gear. You can farm for their gear if you want to. If you like to do it out of collection purposes. And over here we find a golden rune tier two. All right, now we can head inside. We can go ahead and get some free runes off of these guys by just killing them. These are aristocrats. They just sometimes they can they can they can be a little bit trolly. Looks can be deceiving. And over here you can just sneak around here because there is an exiled. There's an exiled with an axe. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to get some stealth in. It's caution, so he paused. He's being cautious right now. But then now he's back to patrolling. Okay. You can sneak around. And I'm going to get a backstab on this guy. Damn it. He turned around. No matter. Two shots with my... Plus six Knight's Great Sword with the Sacred Infinity did the trick. And here we find a fun little claw weapon, Hook Claws. These are a fist type weapon. These hook claws, hook claws are definitely fun to use. If you like to use fist weapons, this is a nice little weapon that's pretty much fun. And uh, you might want to break these barrels. Or you can just make sure that you make, roll back and set them off. Set them off in because you don't want to blow yourself up. These guys here. All right. Bob. All right. Now before we but now over here, this door it's locked. We need a key for that. And over here we find a shiny, which are five throwing daggers. Now we need to find the key, but we'll get to that shortly. But we can go up here and pick up. St. Trina's arrows, these are 10, there's 10 of them. Now with these St. Trina arrows, they deal damage and also build sleep. And here's a here's an exiled warrior over here, we can just plunge attack him. Oh, I wanted the shiny! I wanted to see what it dropped. No fair. The, the carcass fell off the edge. Pop. Alright, and over here we got a ladder. Yep. Oh my gosh, where'd you come from? It's so, it's so narrow, so I gotta... Mistakes were made, guys. Mistakes were made, guys. Alright. Here we go. Let's try this again. Get my roots back. And this one dropped some Stormhawk feathers. Let's wait for this guy to come down here. Bitch. Okay. Now we can... Now I can climb back up. All right, and let's go ahead and use. Let's go ahead and go with the urgent heal this time. Get a little bit of our health back. All right, and then we can just we can just drop down here and no, actually go in here because we we wind up here at the upper level, where this aristocrat is gonna throw is gonna throw fire bombs right over here with these powder kegs if you try to go for this item. And it's, a, and it's three smoldering butterflies. Huh. The game just likes to test your your curiosity. You want to know what shiny it is. It tests your curiosity and can lead you to traps. You know what they say? Curiosity kills the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> That's an expression. Alright. And here... We, here's a door, but we're going to go in in just a moment. Let's just take a look around. And really there's nothing... There's nothing over here. But now this door right here. As we head inside. As we head inside. I'm going to go ahead and 
drink my wondrous flask of physic. Because there's, what's going to happen is there's going to be a scripted event as we go inside. It appears that somebody shut the door behind us, and now we are locked in with this bandish knight. Ah! Uh, I took an extra hit. Gonna get a backstab. Alright, so whoever locked us in here, locked us in with this Spanish knight, but by taking care of him, let's go ahead and loot this chest. And since it's dark in here, I brought my hand lantern with me. There we go. Inside this chest we find the Curved Sword Talisman. Let's take a look at this talisman. Now the Curved Sword Talisman, it enhances guard counters. It's a talisman depicting a curved sword and a swordsman. It enhances guard counters. It is said that a blind swordsman was the originator of this technique. The art of allowing one's opponents to strike us so as to lead them vulnerable to a well-timed reply. However, I only, I'm, over, I'm okay with these two slots, so I don't need to put that on. And on this corpse, we find the rusty key. Now, this is the key you need to get out of here. You don't necessarily have to fight the Banished Knight, but if you really want to quickly get out of there, then just quickly run and get the key and get out. Just open the door. But I chose to fight the Spanish Knight because he was guarding that talisman inside that chest. So let's go ahead and let ourselves out. And then we can proceed on forward. And this also is the key that we're going to need to get into the next part of this area. Let's head back down there. Going through all the, all the carnage I left behind. The paper trail, which I would say. There it is. The rusty key opens this door, and now we can climb up this ladder. And I'm closing in on 20 minutes, so we should be able to reach our next checkpoint. We have enough time, you know. We can definitely rush our way back in. All right, let's let's start looking by. Let's look over to the right, and then we have to jump across and deal with this aristocrat. Bop, and we have another one with throwing throwing bombs at me. Let him throw another one, and then we're gonna. We don't want to get too close, otherwise you'll hit that powder keg barrel. Let's just roll these two. Here we have a fire grease. And then there's an item up there, but we can't reach that. But there is a way we can get to it. There is a way. You know, if you see a shiny and you think it's out of reach, remember, if you if there's a shiny over there, there is always a way to get to it. Now, be careful over here because if you... Well, be careful. <laughs> be careful with myself. Now, wedging just around the corner, we have another aristocrat. If you just run in there, he will try to do a grab attack on you. Let's see if we can try... Let's see if we can pull this off. Roll. There we go. Yep, this guy will do a grab attack and do a, a critical damage on you. Yeah, so don't you definitely want to roll past roll. Just luckily edged the corner. And here we have somebody sleeping on a job. Glass shards are always worthless. And, I, and what it was sitting in front of is a silver pickle foul foot. These will raise your item discovery. I have the I have the cookbook to craft these myself, along with the gold pickle foulfoot. So, and the gold pickle foulfoot increases the number of root the number of runes gained. Now let's now before we head up the stairs, let's go head over here because we have a shiny here, and that's mushrooms. Now let's but there is a but there is a drop off point to get to that item. We will get to that momentarily. However, just at the top of the stairway. There is another banished knight. We can try and take him out. This one's got a halberd. And I can just turn this off right now. Alright, there's a banished knight with the halberd. Let's try and get a sneak attack on him. Oh, oh my gosh. That weapon art catches me off guard. I hate that. There we go. I meant to do a charge R2 follow-up as it was getting back up, but I ended up R2-ing so soon. That was, that was, I don't know why the, my controller decided to do that on me. Okay, taking care of the Spanish Knight, but there is a way down there. We can drop down from here, careful, and drop. There we go. 
And there's the shiny. So we can, all we gotta do is just drop down here. And here it is. And that is an artery leaf. Three of them. And then we wind up right back over here. Now let's go get some progression. Alright, now this right here is an elevator, but we are not able to operate that just yet because there is uh, another secret area that we have to that that we have to that we have to find in order to get access to this elevator that will bring us back up here. But before we go upstairs, over to the right is an is an is a shortcut which we cannot access. Not until we proceed down further in the castle. And here we have our first sight of grace. Inside this inside the castle. Let's light, let's light that, but I'm not going to rest at it just yet. I'm just going to use Urgent Heal in the meantime. I forget where my seal is, in which hand I put it in. I'll just use it twice to top it off. And with a little bit of FP to spare. Alright. Let's, let's look upstairs. Let's look upstairs. Here's another exile with a spear and a shield. Let's move in. Bob. And here's another one with the crossbow. We can try and get to it by doing a run and jump. Let's see what we get. A small dream butterfly. And here's a shiny that we find, and that's five throwing daggers. Now we need to we can, we gotta come we came So the only way out is to go back in the same way we came in. We just have to do a run and jump thing like this. There we go. I've had i I've had a mistake when I ended up falling off to my death. Let's look over here. Yeah, either way you can you'll, you'll come out at the same entrance. Either way you'll you'll come out. All right. Okay, so we have an XL warrior up there, but he doesn't see us as long as you're in sneak mode. As long as you're sneaking, you can just you can just hug hug this. Hug along. Work your way upstairs, work your way up the stair the, the steps, and backstab. Because he's the one that has he's the one that can blow the bugle. He can blow the bugle and alert all these other exiles sleeping. And this one dropped the 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 exile hood. Wonderful. And this one's a golden rune tier two. Now that we took out the 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 bugle collar, let's take out the rest of the guys these guys. Bop. Can we get both? Double kill! And that, and then over here is a- hold on, I missed one. Okay, smoldering butterfly. Okay, now over here we can just jump over there and... And I see some stormhawks over there. So, and that's also another way to get, to get the next part, but... The, this kind of branches out. This kind of branches out a little bit. <laughs> This, this stuff, there's so many, there's so much to explore here in Stormvale Castle that paths tend to branch. Paths tend to branch around. So you may see some edit cuts on where I'm going to be going exploring. So it may, the recording may take a bit longer, but I'm trying to keep the video like around 30 to 35 minutes long. So you're, there's going to be a lot of editing to be done. But I do got I got a little bit of time left, so we can go check out one of the paths. And I do I am halfway towards another level, so I need to be careful here. So I need to be careful here. So let's go. Alright. Now let's go check out on top of this way. Huh, item ahead. But let's go hug the right side. Okay, there's nothing here, but we can go ahead and drop down here. Like I said, paths tend to branch out, and and it kind of gives you wondering where are you gonna, where do you want to go first? I cannot decide right now, but it's better for me to wait till the next episode. But we can, however, go to the other side, like the, by jumping across. 
because I have a feeling there's something there. As we go down here, look down below. Yes, there is an item here. There's an item here, and that is a storm sword key. Definitely worth picking up. Oh, and uh, that item is not guarded, but it's not alone. So let me. Well, I've already used up my wonders physic. I've already used up one wonders physic. All right. So now let's go ahead and drop down here and deal with this storm, this warhawk. Oh, now this one's different because it will th it will do fire attacks. Damn. Ah, I fucking missed that one. Careful. Ah. Watch out for its sparks. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, this is one tough bird right there. And what it was guarding was a new gesture, dozing cross-legged. All that for a gesture. <laughs> All that for one simple gesture. All right. Let's go ahead and head this way and and take a look. Now there's there's something down there, and there's something and we can drop off down there too. But we're not gonna do that. I'm trying to think of a layout of where to go. I'm trying to think of a layout of where to go, but haven't decided yet. But for right now, I'm going to warp back to the Rampart Tower bonfire. Hey, you interested in some cool merch like this dog tag and the hat? Check out my merch store. The link is in the description box below. You can browse through a lot of Starman apparel and all sorts of cool stuff. And I would love to see you guys fly the flag of the Star Empire. <laughs> Alright, so basically, I think that's pretty much gonna... That pretty, that pretty much does it for this first part of exploring Stormvale Castle. <laughs> this is definitely an interesting place filled with danger. And, and this is the next section we're gonna be exploring in the next episode. And this gives me Dark Souls 3 vibes because it reminds me of going through the area called the High Wall of Lothric. <laughs> Takes me back to my Dark Souls day, my Dark Souls days. <laughs> yep, that's why this game is so amazing. And look at the view up ahead. Look at the view. And there's the main Earth Tree there. Yeah, gorgeous view. Gorgeous view indeed. Yep, so much to explore here in Stormvale Castle, and this is only part one. Now, in the next episode, we're going to start from here and work our way down the high wall of Stormvale Castle. And see what and see what we can find. See what kind of loot we can find. Yep, this is definitely going to be a long exploration here in Stormvale Castle. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed the video series. Hope you're enjoying the video series, and I'm really glad to, that you guys are having fun and watching my videos. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And let's go ahead and say goodbye for now, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.